Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Machine documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use linked post types in Divi Machine. Our use case will be a car listing site with cars as custom post type one and dealers as custom post type two. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so the idea here behind linked post types are is that you're gonna use the post object field and advanced custom fields to link two custom post types together. Now, the purpose for this, of course, is gonna be so that you can display data from another post type on the current post. And yes, I know that makes your head want to explode and kind of makes my head want to explode reading that. But let's think about it this way in relation to our example. We're talking about a car dealership here and a car relationship. Cars is our custom post type one and dealers is our custom post type two. Now, the way you would implement this is one of two ways probably is you will look at a dealer page and see all the cars listed there. That is a linked post type. And then the other way would be is if you're looking at a single car post, you might want to have the dealer information in a right hand column or something so that they can contact that dealer in case they want to purchase the car or have an inquiry about it. Those are link post types and it's very useful to do. But first we need to go ahead and set up that post object field in advanced custom fields. So let's take a look at that. So whether you're gonna be setting up for using these link posts as link post types or related link posts, the setup is gonna look pretty much the exact same to get started. Now, the way you're gonna be representing the data is gonna be different and we'll get into that in the rest of this video. So we're gonna start here on the back end of our Divi install with machine installed already. Now, if we come here to my custom post types, You'll notice that I already created dealers and cars in here, and I already created some custom posts for that. Now, the setup for this is gonna happen in ACF, so we need to go to custom fields here, and we're gonna create a link from the many to the one relationship. Remember, we talked about that one too many earlier, and in this case, many cars will fit with the dealer custom post type. So let's edit the car fields. And here you'll see I have a very basic setup here. I've got price, condition, and mileage. And to get this working, we just need to add one element to this page. So we're gonna go ahead and add a field, and we'll just call this dealer, because this will represent the dealer that is associated. As usual, it'll generate the field name. And then we just need to select the field type, and this is the important part. You wanna go select post object. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I will come down here where it says filter by post type. All you need to do is type in your post type, now whether that's dealer or agent or whatever it might be, location. We're gonna be selecting dealers here. And that is pretty much all you need to do here. So let's just update our car fields here. Now, because I already have some car posts, I need to update them with this information. So if you have an existing site and you're implementing this now, you're gonna have to do the same thing. So I'm gonna go to cars here and I'll do one normal speed and then I'll just fly through the rest of them for you. So I'm gonna edit the top one. And now we see this dealer field down here. I have my two dealerships that I've created and we'll just say this one's Wingfield Motors and I'll update that. And that's all you need to do. You just now need to go through this process with each of your custom posts within your custom post type. I'm not gonna put you through that now. Let's rather get to how you're gonna display this data on the front end. Okay, so now that we've got that post object field assigned in ACF, we can go ahead and start utilizing and get all linky with it by linking two custom post types. And for that, to simplify the process, we've created this PDF here that you'll find both in the description of this video as well as in the documentation for Divi Machine at help.divienginecom Now, we're gonna start by linking two custom post types and we'll follow the legs all the way over here and you'll see that there are two ways to implement this. It, and it's really gonna depend on your use case. Here, the first one is to show all the custom post types one, so our cars, that are assigned to custom post type two, which is our dealers in this example. And the other way, of course, is showing the second custom post type, which is our dealers, that are linked to the current custom post type one, which in our example will be cars. We're gonna follow this tree right here right now. 
And we see that the first step is going to be to access the theme builder and build a template for all custom post type twos. So in this example, it's going to be all dealers. Now, if I hop in the back end of my site here, I'll go to Divi and then theme builder. And you'll see that I already created this template here um, for all dealers and for all cars actually. Um, and if you wanted to do that, you can just go and click here on the template settings. You'll scroll down to all cars or all dealers and that's how I got that there, but I'm not gonna redo that now. Let me click into the dealers as we're gonna be showing all the cars assigned to our dealers. Now I simplified this a bit for you guys by adding some uh, indicators here for custom post type two and here will be the data for custom post type one. Here's our dealership information that will be in the right hand column, which these are ACF item fields. Well, this is the post title, but the next one will be here, my specific ACF fields that I have there, ACF item, and you can see that I selected the city. Now to implement this, we're gonna add a loop module. So archive loop module. So I can just type in archive and loop. Now that'll come up and then under the main options here, I'm gonna wanna select cars of course, because we're dealing with cars that we want to display and what cars do we want to display. But first we need to select a loop layout. And if you don't know how to do a loop layout yet, definitely check the documentation. There are tons of resources that'll show you how to do this. But I'll go ahead and select my car loop here. And then if we're lucky, it'll populate with all the vehicles. But of course we don't want all the vehicles here. We need to do a little bit of extra work here. So if we come down here to the loop options and we scroll down we'll say that the post display type is going to be linked posts and then the linked post object field you remember that one we're going to go ahead and select that and it's on the car fields group and we're going to select dealer we're going to go ahead and save that and then we'll save this layout and then we'll go take a look at the front end at a car dealership page to see if it's working. Okay, so here I am in the back end with all my different dealers here. You'll see that I did a lot of work, I only made two. Um, I am going to go take a look at, let's say, Reed's Motor Group, open it in a new tab, it'll load up, and there we have it, three vehicles assigned to Reed's Motor Group. And as you can see, we're dealing with the dealer page, custom post type two, and it's the single page for all dealers and then the link car or cars as custom post type one. But let's just make sure, and then we check out Wingfield Motors here also, and you'll see that it's got different vehicles on the page. Here is this one, all white cars conveniently. I did not plan that, but it works out great. And you can see four vehicles assigned here and all the information on the dealership. It's so useful to both sites that can do this because the possibilities are truly endless. It could be a director and the movies that they've directed. Think about an IMDB type site, it's crazy. There's just so much you can do, but it's not where we wanna stop because let's look when I click in here on a car page, this is where we're gonna want the dealership information um, for the specific car. And then you, know, you can add stuff like contact forms on the page so that people can make inquiries. So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so now the second way that we'll utilize this is if we want to show the custom post type 2 that is linked to the current custom post type 1 that we're looking at. So that's going to be the dealer that's associated with the car that we're looking at on that single product page uh, or this the, just a single page for the cars. And again, we'll need to use the theme builder to go ahead and build this out. And again, within that, there's two ways to do it and we'll look at both of them. But first we're gonna go with this right branch down here and we're gonna be utilizing the archive loop. The other way to do it is to use the ACF item module, which we'll look at last. So let's get into it. Okay, so here I am on the back end of my Divi site again, and I'm gonna go to Divi Theme Builder. Over here, you'll see all the layout templates I've created. Now, I already told you about the old dealers here and the old cars and that I already created these. So I'm gonna go into my old cars single post layout. Okay, over here, you'll see that I've also simplified things by you know, calling out custom post one here and then the link dealers, which is custom post two. Here we've got the car information. So these are ACF post items and a button and the post title right there. And here we'll have the link dealers. And I added all three methods of doing this. One is gonna be the archive loop, 
The other one is ACF item list method and then the ACF item loop. But first things first, let's do the ACF loop. It's the easiest one. We're going to add an archive module, archive loop right here. And of course, now we want to select dealer as that's what we're working with. And now we need to specify the loop layout. Now I created one earlier. If you don't have one yet, you need to go back and create that loop layout for yourself. And otherwise you're going to have trouble getting this to work. Next up, we get to go to the loop options. And now we need to give it a bit of information. So the post display type again will be link post. And then the linked post object, which we created earlier, will be dealer car fields. So it's pretty much the same as we set up the inverse of this, where we show all the cars associated with the dealership. Now we want to change maybe one more thing down here with the grid. Let's just tell it we want one column, one column, because that just looks better, I think. So that looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to save it right here. And all done. So let's go take a look at what that looks like on the front end. Okay, so here I am in my cars custom post type area, and we're going to access this the same as the dealers. I'm going to right click the view button here. Let's come over here. And there you got it. We've got the archive loop method here, and you can see that this is with Wingfield Motors and the information on the dealership. And if I came back here and did the same thing with the next car, we'll see that here is Reed's Motor Group. So easy to do, and it's so useful, a real estate site or whatever. It's pretty fantastic. But we've got two more ways to inspect on how to do this, so let's go back to the theme builder. So continuing on, we're back here on our handy PDF and it's time to explore the left branch here of displaying the associated custom post type two. So the dealer that's associated or linked to the custom post type one, which is the car. And we're gonna be using the ACF item module this time. And there's two different ways to display it within there. So let's take a look and head back to the theme builder. Okay, so I am back on the theme builder page for that cars layout template that I created before. And here we can see the work that we did with the archive loop module method. Now we're gonna be adding an ACF item module. So I can just type in item, that's easy enough. And then we see ACF item and I'll add that in. Now we need to set some stuff up here by for one, selecting the ACF name. And we're gonna select that post object field or object post field, which is dealer in the car fields. And then all we need to do is go ahead and scroll down to the relational settings all the way down, relational field settings. We're going to be utilizing the relational field style field here. And you can select either a custom loop or comma separated list. Since we're doing the list method, we just click that button right there. You can set a separator. And this is for the instance when you have more than one dealership that's selling a car, or maybe you've got speakers at an event. I mean, th there's just so many different things you can do with that. I'm just gonna go click the checkbox there. And the next thing that I need to do is just go ahead and save the page. And now we can go to the front end and take a look at what that looks like over there. Great, so looking here at the front end, we're gonna refresh the page really quick. And then we're gonna keep our eye right here. And there we go. We've got the ACF item list here. Now, if you had multiple dealerships, they'll be showing up here. And even look what happens when we click this button, we get taken to the dealer single page with all the cars listed. It's pretty cool and a very useful feature. Now, when you think about comma separated values here or multiple, you know, custom post type twos that are associated with custom post type one. It might be a speakers at an event, like I might've mentioned before. It's very useful. And now we'll go ahead and look at the final method, which is using the ACF item loop method. So let's get back to it and hop back in the theme builder. Here we are back on the theme builder page for the single page old cars, and you'll see all the work we've done so far. So let's go ahead and finish it up by adding another ACF item module. So ACF item, click on that. 
And for ACF name, you guessed it, we're gonna go ahead and select that object field, object post field, and that's dealer car fields. We'll scroll down here to the relational field settings, click on that, and this time we'll utilize car loop layout. And <laughs> this is so easy. We'll just go ahead and select the dealership. So dealer loop, I've got two different ones. I'll just use this one. It's got more information on it. Oh, actually, let me show you the other one just to show that you can use different loops. Um, and this one has a little bit less information. The top one has all of the information. And now you can adjust things like the grid columns because when we look down here, that doesn't look fantastic. We'll just put one grid column for all of them. And don't mind the Audi RS6 there. You'll see on the front end in a second, once I've saved all of this, that it works just fine. So let's go take a look on the front end and refresh our page. Great, now the moment of truth. Let's see, we've got two working methods to display the custom post type to a dealer that is associated or linked to our custom post type one, which is our car. So let's refresh the page and make sure things are working just fine. There we have it, folks. We have got the Wingfield Motors logo and title there. And like I mentioned, we use two different loops here that have different information. So think about the different ways you can also utilize that. Maybe you have other associated or linked posts that you want to display on this page, but you don't want you know to be so mouthy with all this extra information. So there you have it. This is linked post types in two ways, two flavors, where you can either show all the items that are linked from custom post type one to custom post type two or cars and dealers, or you can show the information of custom post type two on the current post type one, which is the car. And that sounds so crazy, but hopefully that doesn't make your head explode anymore. <laughs> um, that's it. So if you didn't find the answers you were looking for in this video regarding Divi Machine, check out the documentation at help.divienjo.com. And if you're really stuck, definitely contact our support team and somebody will be sure to help you out real quick. So guys, this has been Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye for now.